Oh, there you are. Okay, a uh, little bit of a story. Uh, years ago, during my studying time, a few years ago, I worked for a company that made studio flash equipment, Breezer. And I still got all the gear, the flash gear, uh, out of that time. And uh, of course you can't use it anymore, it's pointless. And I was going to convert all the lights to uh, LED lights. But I found out that over 20 years here in the tropics, all the reflectors had sort of more or less fallen apart and were not usable anymore. So I got in contact with Breezer to replace them. And also because they're old lights, some things had changed, so I needed different attachments again and all that sort of stuff. And uh, so the whole cost for converting my uh, reflectors for LED lights was about three and a half thousand dollars. And I thought, nah, I can do that cheaper with uh, my own stuff, with LED lights I make myself. And um, the second part to that story is that um, now that we can't travel, my traveling money has been used to renovate the office. And part of the renovation were new ceiling panels. And there was a certain person who complained that I only have disco lights in here, but not white lights. So I bought a light that um, I can use as a floodlight here in the office. And um, bought one of these lights that um, it's exactly the size of one of the ceiling panels that's specifically made for it. And while I was buying that light, I also found out there are smaller ones available. Lights that... No, why is not coming up? Come on, get going. Um, yeah, that one. And um, then I found out there were smaller ones available. And one of the smaller ones is C60 by... 30 centimeter panel lights and I said well, I wonder if that sort of fits the bill because you can switch between three uh, sort of uh, white tones three four and five thousand Kelvin okay so I bought three just to see if that works out for me and if not I can put them up in the ceiling so let's see what happened so what I did I then took them home and I thought to myself how do I put it on the tripod that is a bit of a problem and then I sat back for a moment and I said why don't I glue a piece of timber on the back of the lamp drill an eight millimeter hole into it and then use some glue to put these three eighths to one quarter inch adapter rings into it but first cutting a thread into the timber and then use some glue to really to really tighten that thing in because as you can see they're not very not very bulky and then um, I can screw my my holder in and then attach that to the um, to the um, tripod and what do you know it works perfectly so now I got three lights for about hundred hundred sixty dollars and um, And everything is sweet yeah so I'm very happy with that result and what I will do in the link underneath I will um, leave um, an eBay site where you can 
get these rings and also these um, attachments for the um, for the uh, tripods they're very common and then these tripods they're about hundred dollars hundred twenty five dollars each depends on how sturdy you would like it and um, off you go all your studio lights and you can have them in three different uh, white tones i use usually the middle one that's uh, very neutral the other one is a little bit blue and a little bit yellow but the middle one seems to be all right and then i had another idea what if it's not bright enough and then i had the idea why don't i buy one of these really big ones open them up they're only 70 dollars so it's not big expense open them up take the um, led strips out and add the LED strips to this lamp because there are only two strips in here. That's all there is. So I can put four more in there because that's what's what's in these things. And then I got a ton of light out of one ouch, out of one one lamp. So um, instead of paying five hundred dollars for a video light, you have this one, and it works well. I tried that on my on my green screen there in the back, and it works perfectly. And um, yeah, so the only thing you need is an eight millimeter drill, a three eighths um, tap, one of these little things. I mean, they I think 10 of them for $5 or something like that. These things are about $15 and then a tripod for $120. And you got yourself a very nice big video light. Okay guys, so, um, Underneath here now attached will be a few more pictures and um, see you on the next one where I explain why I'm uh, back to the iPhone 13 mini. Okay, see you later guys. Have fun. Bye bye.